Welcome to the Sensei Project Dashboard, an app for Microsoft Project Professional 2013 by Sensei Project Solutions. The Sensei Project Dashboard app pulls together Microsoft Project schedule information and SharePoint data to provide a comprehensive and interactive status dashboard. It offers a whole new way of interacting with the schedule and SharePoint data and it proactively helps to identify areas that the project manager should be concerned with. The dashboard uses live tiles to summarize key information from the project schedule and the supporting SharePoint project site. The tiles rotate through key information and a mouse over brings up a curtain with summary information. The project tile shows high-level project information about the finish, cost, percent work complete, issues, and risks. The task tile shows detailed information about slipping tasks, missed deadlines, tasks that are due soon and starting soon, as well as over allocations. The documents tile shows the SharePoint document library for the project, the Issues tile shows the SharePoint issues list for the project. The Risks tile shows the SharePoint risk list for the project. And the Deliverables tile shows the SharePoint deliverables list for the project. Project managers can access detailed information behind each tile simply by clicking on them. The goal of the project tiles is to answer the key questions about the project. When are we going to finish? How much is the project going to cost us? How far along are we and do we have any issues and risks? At this level, variances and exceptions will be highlighted in red and from here we can explore additional detailed information. The task tile has five detailed pages. Slipping tasks are those tasks that do not finish on or before their baseline finish date. Select slices of the pie chart to view those tasks that are slipping more than five days, between two and five days, and less than two days. The default filters are set to show only detailed tasks that are on the critical path and not yet complete. To further refine the search results in this list, apply additional filters. Missed deadlines are those tasks with a deadline set that do not finish on or before this deadline. Deadlines typically represent commitment dates from contracts or other dates imposed upon the project from an outside source, but deadlines can also represent target dates set by the project team. The default filters are set to show all tasks with missed deadlines except if the task has been marked complete. Each of these tiles and pages also come with guidance specific to that portion of the dashboard. Due soon draws attention to those tasks where the finish date is coming due soon or perhaps even scheduled in the past. During status meetings, the project manager can pull up this list to review with the project team for input on status and to emphasize priorities on the project. Again, select slices of the pie to view those tasks that are due in the past, this week, this month, and due next month. The default filters are set to show only detailed tasks and milestones that are due soon. Starting soon draws attention to detailed tasks and milestones that are scheduled to start soon or perhaps were scheduled to start already with no actual start date recorded. During status meetings, the project manager can pull up this list to review with the team for input and to ensure tasks will start on time. The default filters are set to show only detailed tasks and milestones that are starting soon. 
Over Allocations shows a list of those tasks with over allocated resources. The project manager should carefully review these tasks to ensure that the schedule is realistic. The default filters are set to show only detailed tasks and milestones that are not marked complete. Let's look at the Documents tile next. Here, documents from the project's SharePoint document library are listed in order of when they were most recently updated. Project managers can monitor progress on documentation development without opening the SharePoint project site. Filters can be used to view certain document types or specific authors and editors. Navigate to more detailed information on the project site by selecting the document's header or individual documents. Behind the Issues tile are issues from the project's SharePoint site listed in order of when they are due. Project managers can monitor issues as they are opened and closed or become overdue. Filters can be used to view issues by status, priority, and category, as well as by dates and assignment. To edit an individual issue, simply click on the title and update on the SharePoint site. In this case, the issue was resolved with a service pack update. Once the issue has been updated and closed out, it will drop off the list of active issues in the project dashboard upon the next refresh. To update the data, simply press the refresh button in the bottom right hand corner. Similar to issues, risks from the project's SharePoint site are listed in order of when they are due. Again, we can navigate to more detailed information by selecting the risks header or individual risks. On the last tile, deliverables from the project SharePoint site are listed in order of when they are due and these can be filtered as well. The project manager has the option of setting defaults on all of the tiles, specifically what level of detail to see and what the default filters are on each page. The Sensei Project Dashboard works with Microsoft Project Professional 2013 connected to Project Server 2013 or Project Online. It pulls published scheduled data, so project managers should make sure to publish frequently for the most up-to-date information. For more information about the Sensei Project Dashboard app, visit us at senseiprojectsolutions.com.